Hey guys, my name is Ezekiel. For my project, I decided to design a parachute from a shore watch. Starting off, I immediately came across an obstacle which was built in the body of the ship, which took me five tries to get it in the shape I wanted it to be. Well, before that, I had uh, sketched the whole plan for it, um, so it kind of helped me out a little bit. Using the spine tool and the sketching of a picture of the ship or techniques I used to create the body, I also used planar surfaces and lofted surfaces. In my design, I have over 100 features. I use a lot of mirroring over planes to get the job done faster. The cannon I designed can move 180 degrees in the vertical direction, while the ship's rudder can move 180 degrees and across the horizontal. For this, uh, the project, the funnest part was creating the head, the, begin uh, the front of it, which is like a ram. Um, to create it, it was like an egg shape. I used an elliptical circle, and then I revolved revolve it about the line to get the egg shape I wanted. And then for the horns, I just created a th thin extruded lines and expanded them. For this project, the rails were the part that took so much time due to the fact that there were so many, and I really wanted them to have a good, add a good amount of detail to the project. For, the, for those, I used the method of lofting, uh, three layered circles, the middle one being a little bit bigger than the other two. As for my simulation, I decided to simulate a strong waiting, wave hitting my ship. The force was 3,000 newtons uh, force strong, and it directed all over my wall. And uh, because SolidWorks went out, let me use wood for the simulation, I decided to use alloy steel. And although the wave was able to bend the wall of alloy steel, it was not strong enough for more than that. The edges took uh, the most damage, as you can see, while the center was displaced more. For my project, the masks were tricky because of the sails, and they have no cloth in the, pro uh, the program, so I was had to bend them and then just extruded them really thin here. Uh, as for the rest of the project, I just tried doing as much possible, uh, details as I can possible, creating um, you know, things you find in the ship, like uh, boxes, barrels, um, small little details. Uh, thank you for your time.